Hey folks, Crazy Marty here. Today, we're gonna show you how your partner can give you an extra two to three inches inside of your Living in aluminum. So I'm here to talk to you about ventilation for your horse trailer and how to possibly improve it. Now, this horse trailer, my Lakota here, it came with what they call frameless windows. The thing with frameless windows is, is they only open up just a little bit. The one thing you have to keep in mind though is you can never have your windows open while driving down the road. It's never a good idea to do that anyways. I've seen people going down the road with their, their emergency escape window just a flapping away and the, and the bar hanging out there. So yeah, it's one of those things that it's good and bad. Let's get into what you're going to need. You're going to need a ladder, some silicone sealant and a tool to remove the little tiny screw that's located right up on top there. Now that screw is probably stripped I would imagine because you know a lot of these companies they just have whoever sticking them in there with air tools. So of course it's probably stripped and really the only thing that's going to hold everything back together once you put the screw back in is a little dab of silicone sealant or adhesive as we call it. So that'll, that's what we're going to do in the very end after it's all back together. Remove the screw and we slide the window out to where we can pull this thing here out of it. Put the little arms back in. Now let's see what it does. Now that I know that this thing opens and closes all the way, I went ahead and set my arms to a distance that is appropriate. The reason they put this in your window and only let the window open up that far is so those arms are way out here in case the, you're going down the road and you forget to close the window. It, otherwise, you can break a window a lot easier than when it's got support at each corner. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. Never ever drive with your windows open. Now that you have your little piece of stopper trimmed, one of the tips I'm gonna tell you is you wanna close the window back up a ways because it makes it easier to open and slide it in and out. So we'll slide this over here like this, take our little plasticky thing, put it back up in the track, slide this back closed again, take our screw, which as I said was stripped from the manufacturer, we're gonna stick it back in the hole. Yeah, that thing just, it just spins, so there's no point in even trying to tighten it up. Take your silicone, now we're gonna stick some in the end of the, in the end of the trail, in the end of the, the thing, and we're gonna stick it on the screw head and that'll keep your window so it doesn't blow open. There we go, that's how it's done. Now all we gotta do is repeat the process on the remaining windows around the trailer and it'll be done. And I'll be sure and send you a postcard from freedom sometime. Living in a Now the frameless window is a good thing because they look really good. They Yeah, they look good. Okay. 